Hello, today I have my construction hat on and I'm going to teach you guys how to put connectors on the end of a cable. So you will need one of these. Make sure you get one that has the holes for connectors that fit the connectors you're working with. I happen to be working with these and this fits right in there. So that's your one, one hurdle is to make sure you get the right tool. We bought the wrong one at first and then we bought the right one. You'll also need just some wire cutters and your connector and of course a cable. Uh, you want it to be finished like this so that you can just plug it in somewhere. So the first thing you do is you start with a cable and usually your cable will come just like this. And what you want to do is you get your tool and you put it in the hole and you close it up gently and you can still see some light through there so you close it a little bit snug so you don't see any light anymore but not too snug and then you just twist it around because you're creating a, a cut basically and if you did it enough it'll come right off when you pull now you're left with these and you have to be careful that you didn't go too deep uh, you really have to examine that you didn't cut any wires. Next thing you do is you just pull them all down. Okay. And then we want to get rid of this brace. So we take our wire cutters and you'll see that it's got four creases and you very carefully push this down nice and hard and you very carefully get inside and lay your wire cutters down on each crease and give it a little snip right next to the bottom but not so much that it clips the wire hear that little snip so you do it around four times and you just twist it off you ignore this. This is just always in the cable. Now you want to unravel all the colors. Look at them and then you want to put them in a certain order. You white, orange, orange. The next is white, green. And the way I remember to start it like this is I think of the University of Florida colors. <laughs> white, orange. Oops, you gotta be careful. I just grabbed the white, brown. See, that is very close. There we go. Let me get white, orange first. Okay, here we go. White, orange, orange white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and then white, brown, brown. So I'm going to be checking this order a few different times, but right now I'm putting it in the general order. Then you're going to go ahead and really smooth these out. It Okay, so it's white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. So when, once you get to this point here, you don't have to worry about the bottom right now, but you want to hold them tightly and check your colors all the time that they're in the right order. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. My next step, okay, is to make a nice clean cut so that these are even. So you get your clippers ready, you got them in the right order, and you give it a nice hard cut. All right, and you can see it's shiny at the end there. So this is the order I want. I have to hold it carefully. I check my colors again, all the time checking. Now I get my cap, and 
you want I can, I've learned to keep this on the top so you can keep track of it but what you do is you insert these and you kind of push them upward and slide along the roof and one smooth push will push them through each hole sometimes you just don't think it's going to line up but it will so you go ahead and put it in give it a gentle push and there we go now we're going to check the color white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown the bottom looks a little crazy uh, this by the way this string you could cut off at any time I just didn't do it earlier okay next step is you're going to be sliding this all the way down and putting this inside it so you're going to press this so it'll go in there better so I, I lay it on the table and I just give it a little push so it's a little bit flat then what I do is I go ahead and push everything through push 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 if it starts to bunch up I don't like that so I try to wiggle it and pull it like this and you want to get this black inside there it goes in pretty easily you just kind of have to work it and it's okay if these uh, bunch up a little bit I don't think it bothers it really at all so we're going to push this in see it's starting to go in now but I want it in further and I think I got it in just good enough now if you take a look you'll see uh, actually you'll see the these two bunched in a little bit you could try to pull them up if you want but it's, I don't think it's really that important so what you do is you have the black inside here as much as you can push it um, a good little ways and then you have all your colors in in the right order and you're almost done smooth these together we're going to close this so that it'll spring open and then we're going to put it inside here I can see what I'm doing okay so I have it I have it snug in here and I have the wires all out here and then I give it a gentle but hard squeeze and actually try to pulse it twice and then I release it pull this out and voila as good as new the industry standard is actually the solid brown is on the left side and then you keep the order but I learned it this way every one you use in your uh, series has to be in the same order meaning you have to have the orange white on the left with the clip up I connected something together last week where I had if you looked at it this way I had the orange white on the left to start the series and it was the only only connector I put on wrong so I had to actually just redo the whole thing I connected something together last week where I had if you looked at it this way I had the orange white on the left to start the series and it was the only only connector I put on wrong so I had to actually just redo the whole thing down like 600 feet of this this uh, power extender uh, is bar direct burial and I needed to do this because I have to connect my camera system to the power extender and so it goes right in there so that's how you put connectors on cables that's it for today's lesson have a great day